First, let me just say that I'm um, I'm honored to be here, and um, I'm a product of CPS, so this this means a lot to me. And I just really wish and hope that you all had the best best school year that you possibly can have, whether it's your first year, your tenth year, twentieth, thirtieth, whatever it is. I hope this is new for you in all kind of ways, and I hope this is very prosperous for everyone involved. The eternal question is, did I do a good job? The internal question is, could I have done more? You are the golden standard, the common core. We've all been stretched to our thinnest, breaking points, degrees of transparency, pulled on by hundreds to thousands of young lives relying on your leadership just to not make it out alive, but to thrive. My, what a heavy anchor to drag. You just reached out for a handshake. You turned into mom. You turned into dad. You have the responsibility to create bright futures in the midst of dark presence and troubled past. And all troubles don't look the same. Always smiling doesn't mean the absence of pain. It can all happen so fast. One youthful mistake, and we've seen it a million times before, that window starts closing, but we can't throw stones in an establishment made of glass. We can only teach them to build doors where those windows once occupied space. You have to see potential where most just see a face. And while our schools are being compared to prisons, you have to be less warden and more magician, turning this Alcatraz into Hogwarts. While most of our students are trying to figure out if their lives matter, you have to be concocting your best potion of self-worth, creating a safe haven for these lost angels. And I'm sorry if I'm using all this fantastical phrasing and dramatic descriptions, but this is the time we live in. We live in one of the most magnificent cities this world has to offer, but too often our kids know the gravitational pull of a coffin more than they know the gravitational force of a compass. You are the northern star to these northern lights. You have to ask yourself, what did I offer? Too often, our kids know the gravitational force of a coffin more than the gravitational force of a compass. You are the northern stars, these northern lights. You have to ask yourself, what did I offer? What path did I illuminate? We don't live in a vacuum, but every single year, more students are sucked up out of those seats than they cease to exist without fair warning. And maybe that's not your reality, but somebody's is. Don't that make you feel? Don't that make you go harder? Aren't we in the business of better? Aren't we sending students off into the world that need a better version of them to create the best version of it? Don't they need to see the best version of you to create the best version of them? You are the heroes of now that won't be regarded until decades down the line. You spend your whole night trying to save a child just to be disrespected in the morning, but you keep going. You keep doing it. Cause you a little crazy mixed with a whole lot of wonderful. <laughs> You spend your whole night trying to save a child just to be disrespected in the morning, but you keep going. You keep doing it, because you're a little bit of crazy mixed with a whole lot of wonderful. Just by showing up, you made somebody realize that it's possible. Imagine that, that's powerful. What you gonna do with that? How will you turn these lucid nightmares into dreams come true? What are you rich in when you lack the resources? It's something special about you. 
You didn't just end up where you were at. This city is powered by the energy of the youth. But you're their outlet. Imagine that. 